Hello students, I'm Simona Picchini. I'm senior investigator and clinical pharmacologist at Substance Abuse and Doping Unit, National Institute of Health, Rome, Italy. Today we will start with a new interesting learning episode of Examination of Drugs, number 14. We will speak about new psychoactive substance. The presentation will be divided in six modules. Module number one, introduction. Module number two, diffusion of new psychoactive substances. Module number three, mechanism of action and metabolism. Module number four, new psychoactive substances creating major concern on health, GHB, ketamine and fentanyl derivatives. Module number five, the case of arachnid. Module number six, conclusions. New psychoactive substances are a group of new substance of abuse, drugs of abuse, which started their diffusions in the last times, in the last, we would say, 10 years. The story was that at first they were created to encompass the laws banning the use of illegal substances. So these substances were created as analogues of classical drugs of abuse, but since they were not the drugs of abuse, they could not be prohibited and they could be freely sold. This new illegal market of substances was not through the normal traditional channels, but through websites on internet. They are called the dark net, specific websites where the consumers could buy these drugs of abuse anonymously, only by credit card. Nobody knows where this dark website are established in which countries, European, US, Asia, China. So it is very difficult to close these websites because we don't know and we cannot find where they are located. Where have been these drugs synthesized? Many of them come from Asian markets, China markets, and we will see which substances. Other are synthesized at home in little laboratories, homemade laboratories, many of them located in the Eastern Europe, such as, for example, Czech Republic. And then they are sold and trafficked by internet. Sometimes they are called with different names. For example, research chemicals not for human use. So the question is, if they are research chemicals, just powder, and they are of not human use, why are they sold on internet? There is no reason why, because then we found websites of consumers declaring the effects of these substances. They are also called legal heights, because they fill you high, but they are legal or bad salts because they are sold as colored crystals which resemble bad salts or also food for plants like the case of many synthetic catenones. Since these substances are usually sold by internet they can reach each place of the world. Clearly, they cannot be buy by youngsters because a credit card is needed. Indeed, the market of these substances presents unknown figures. We don't know how many people buy them. And the only estimation made recently has been an estimation by US. Two billion dollars 
are spent every year to buy new psychoactive substances. But the market is a dark market. Let's see which are these substances. First of all, phenethylamines, which are stimulating substances included in these categories are the synthetic catenones. They are analogs of catenone, the psychoactive substance contained in the leaves of cat, which is an African plant. The leaves have to be consumed immediately, or catenone is transformed to catein, which degraded to other substances which are inactive. But synthetic catenones are not. The first representative of this class of drugs is mephedron. Mephedron appeared on internet five or seven years ago and its market increased very highly because of his effects, his psychostimulant effects. Then we have the tryptamines, the synthetic cannabinoids. They resemble the effects of cannabis, but they have more effects. Then we have the piperazines and the new opiates. Module number three, mechanism of action and metabolism. The mechanism of action of these new psychoactive substances is different depending on the class of substances. For example, phenethylamines, new phenethylamines, they are psychostimulants. They don't have receptors on central nervous system, but they block the reuptakes of some neurotransmitters, especially dopamine or serotonin. So they act similarly to cocaine or amphetamine. As we told before, Included in these categories are the synthetic catenones. The synthetic catenones are psychostimulants because they block the reuptake of catecholamines, dopamines, but also noradrenaline. The resulting effect is psychostimulations, but also many side effects and many intoxication we cannot be treated because there is no experience at the emergency department on these substances. Tryptamines, they act on the reuptake of serotonin and they act on 5-HT, hydroxytryptamine, so serotonin, A receptors. They display also hallucinogenic effects, such as piperazine. The most representative substance of piperazine, new piperazine, has been benzylpiperazine, which started to be diffused in New Zealand. But many side effects, like a profuse vomiting, stopped the use of this substance, and the substance never reached the Western world. Synthetic cannabinoids even if they are structurally different for delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol, the psychoactive compound of cannabis, they have more affinity for cannabinoid receptors located in brain. So the action is very much higher than that of THC. But also the side effects are more important we remember that sometimes the side effects of THC are mild compared to those of other drugs of abuse. Only in case of very concentrated preparation of THC, important side effects are observed. But many acute and chronic intoxication with synthetic cannabinoids have been observed at the emergency departments of all Europe. The really dangerous substances are the new opiates, especially fentanyl derivatives. 
because the therapeutic range is very narrow and so the toxic effects are very much seen. The life of these substances is in terms of months or years, one or two years, because then when they are put in the list of banned substances, other substances are created which can be freely sold. Some of them resist in the market because they display the most desired effects by the consumer. For example, the case of mephedron, the synthetic catenone being on the market since the last five years. These substances are metabolized as the substances of their category, phenethylamines, like all the other phenethylamines in the liver by the cytochrome P450 enzymes. So are the tryptamines, the piperazine. The new opioids are metabolized. The new opioids are not metabolized so fastly like in case of heroin. So fentanyls and their derivatives remain in the body for a longer time window. And this is one of the causes of the toxicity. Synthetic cannabinoids are also lipophilic, such as delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinoids. And they remain in the body fluids for a longer time window. Module number four new psychoactive substances creating major concern on health. We will speak of gamma-butyric acid, ketamine and fentanyl derivatives. Gamma-butyric acid is an endogenous metabolite and precursor of GABA gamma butyric amide, which is an ne inhibitory neurotransmitter at central nervous system. GHB was firstly observed in the 90s of last century, and his diffusion started from Spain. It was improperly called liquid ecstasy, because GHB is an odorless and with no color liquid called the feeding bottle in Europe, Biberon. Little glass bottles with this substance were consumed. At first, we observed at the emergency departments that people arrived completely unconsciousness and irresponsive to electric discharges. So at the beginning, it was not known how to treat GHB acute intoxication. But then we observed that in terms of three or four hours, the individuals woke up and they went by their own. GHB has a double effect, stimulant non-inhibitory at the beginning, so eliminated all the inhibition of an individual feeling at his easy in front of the others, and then a subsequent sedation for higher concentration. So GHB found a new life in recent years among gay community to facilitate sexual intercourses between homosexual or what they are called men having sex with men. Why? For they, these inhibitory effects, a starting of stimulation, and also it is referred an increase of libido and disinhibition in the moment of the sexual intercourse. GHB has been called the rape drug because it has been used in drug facilitating sexual assault, because the victim is sedated 
and once she or he wakes up, he doesn't remember what was happening. This is called the anterograd loss of memory. So it takes one or two days for the individual to remember the sexual assault. At that time, GHB is not found in any biological matrices. And so it's very complicated to go in judgment. GHB disappear in terms of 24 hours. And so uh, there is no accuse of sexual harassment because the drug cannot be detected. Ketamine is a dissociative anesthetic used in veterinary, but it is abused for its effect of dissociation and apparent death. The individuals report a very strange negative sensation of being dead but observing everything. It is usually consumed together with cocaine to increase its effects. The secondary effects are an important dissociation, an important feeling of paranoia and psychosis. It is very toxic and very difficult to be recognized at the moment of the individual coming to emergency departments because currently there are no tests, screening tests to detect these substances. And then we have the fentanyl derivatives, very much in fashion at the moment, but very toxic. In the months of August 2016, 23 deaths were observed in a party in Sweden, Europe, due to the consumption of a fentanyl derivatives. Abuse of fentanyl was also the cause of death of the American singer Prince, because after abusing many opioids, he started to abuse this substance. The therapeutic range is very narrow, and then a block in the breathing and also myocardial infarction can cause sudden death. Some other new psychotropic substances create a major concern, and there are some substances contained in plants, plants coming from South America. Let's speak about Salvia divinorum. Salvia divinorum is a little green plant from the family of Salviaceae. Salvia divinorum is known from ancient times and used in magical rites and in religious ceremonies. It gives, when smoked, very important hallucinations, which is the cause. Inside of Salvia divinorum, it was discovered the presence of Salvinorin A. Salvinorin A is a diterpen dinucleorodan, but its action, it is not on serotoninergic neurotransmission, on receptor 5-HTA1. Salvinorin A does not display the same effects of other hallucinogenic substances, which act on serotoninergic neurotransmission, and specifically they block the receptor or 5-serotonin A1 receptor, giving hallucination. No. Salvinorin 1 display an effect on mu opioid receptors but the resultant is a form of hallucination. Salvia divinorum is also sold freely on internet in little bags, in little envelopes. The use of salvia divinorum is however permitted in some places of Brazil, America and Europe for religious ceremonies of the Iglesia do Santo Doime, 
a particular church which uses this plant for religious shamanic ceremonies. Another hallucinogenic substance, which is the lysergic amide, is contained in the seeds of three different plants, Hypomea violacea, Rivea corimbrosa, and Argireia nervosa. These plants are shrubs growing on the gardens with very beautiful flowers, purple, rose, and white flowers. Flowers and plants do not contain any lysergic amide, but the seeds, they do. Consuming a bunch of seeds, very strong hallucinations are perceived. Many deaths caused by hallucination and people going out from terraces and balconies believing they can fly, banned the substance in many places of Europe and United States. Finally, we will speak about magic mushrooms and magic truffles. Magic mushrooms contain psilocybin. They are the mushrooms from psilocybe family. They are coming from South America but they are sold in many head shops in Northern Europe, for example, Netherlands. They have been banned in many countries, but now they can be both by internet websites, even if they are illegal. Who are not illegals are the magic truffles. In reality, they are not really truffles, but they are part of the magic mushrooms. They are like, in the bottom of the mushrooms, these truffles are formed. Since the law do not report the world truffles, the truffles can be legally sold in internet websites. And they are used for high hallucinogenic moments lasting almost one day. Module number five, the case of Arecanat. Now some words regarding the consumption of a substance of a nut, which is abused or unless misused in the Asian territories and also in India. This is the case of Arecanat. In Europe, we also have a little epidemic, especially in Britain, by Asiatic individuals. Areca nut is the nut of a palm tree diffused in the Asian territory. Areca nut contains arecoline, which is an alkaloid with some stimulating properties. There is a traditional use of areca nut of areca powder, which is chewed all the times by individuals. The powder of areca nut can also be smoked and put in some alcoholic drinks. Areca nut creates a very high relative risk of developing esophageal cancer and so an epidemic of this cancer has been observed in the last decades in the Asian territories and also in India. But probably the most hazardous use of a recanat is during pregnancy. It's traditional by Indian women, Pakistan women, and women from Bangladesh to chew a recanat during pregnancy to avoid morning sickness. So many pregnant women continue use a recanat during pregnancy. The newborns of this mother 
present many times a serious withdrawal syndrome, similar to that of opioids or similar to that of cocaine, which has to be treated with phenobarbital. Not only this, we observed also changes in the placenta morphology due to the effect of arecoline, the alkaloid of arecanat. And we observed that newborns of mothers using arecanat during pregnancy are of low weight and low development of the head. So, we believe that mothers from Indian and from Asian countries should be warned about the use of arecanat during pregnancy. Module number six, conclusion. In this module, we spoke about new psychoactive substances, chemical analogues of classical drugs of abuse, which have been developed to be legally and freely sold on internet websites. The market of new psychoactive substances is an increasing market because each year we observe between 100 and 300 new substances entering the market. The market, the website market, is used as an animal model study. You know why? Because the users are the animal model. They test the substance for the first time and if they report good or bad action, this is the fortune or the misfortune of the substances. They also report acute effects and side bad effects. So no research is requested, no clinical trials, because the web users, they do the clinical trials consuming these substances. And this fact presents very important consequences on health system, because at the emergency departments, it is not known how to treat the acute poisoning caused by these substances. And when the individual does not report or it is not able to report because it is unconscious, well, it is not known how to treat him. Also, the individuals want to consume these substances because they are not detected with normal screening and confirmatory tests at the workplace or at the roadside. So imagine a cannabis consumer who shifts to synthetic cannabinoids. It can have the same effects, but the substances are not detected to normal tests. So he can use them freely. But the consequences on human health are important because the toxicity of synthetic cannabinoids compared to that of cannabis are really serious and more impairing. This market at the moment is a market for young adults with money, but an illegal market can be started and can be given also to the youngsters. Thank you.